Raven is the victim. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Demi. Or welcome to my channel because I know a lot of y'all just watch some of my videos just for the love is blind drama. And that's what we are talking about today. Now y'all saw my last video in case you haven't. Here it is. Make sure you go watch it. That was after everything went down. Well, a lot of things went down. So we already saw who got married and who didn't get married. But then we saw the reunion and then we saw some stuff play out on TikTok with SK cheating and all that kind of stuff. But now it's a year later. We're talking about season three. It's a year later and we're talking about after the altar. So what's going on with that? Um, also, I've also been watching Love is Blind Brazil. I watched the first and second season of that and I'm super mad that the reunion does not have English voiceovers. Like, why do you make me watch the entire season just for me not to know what happened at the end or what happened with the reunion because a lot of people said no that I didn't think was going to say no or yes or whatever but anyway we're talking about the English version American version of Love is Blind okay so yeah stuff blew over on TikTok with SK and Raven and I'm so mad that I think after the altar was was uh filmed before that because none of that none of that was in the, was in the video like was in the episodes and I'm just like what was the purpose of these last three episodes? Like, they did not add value to nothing. Like, my opinions of certain people did not really change. Except, if you saw my last video, like I was saying, I was saying how I thought that SK and Raven was kind of in on it, but we're going to talk about that a little later. Let's start with Alexa and Brennan. If I don't know, here they go. Um, so the whole premise around the show was that they Alexa was throwing a birthday party. So they were getting everybody together and they were all gonna see each other as a birthday party, all that kind of stuff. They are still married, of course, because Brennan Brennan just first of all, he annoys me. He really annoys me. I don't know if y'all feel the same way as I feel, but I just feel like he gonna do whatever Alexa tells him to do every single time. Like he is a yes man, like I know some people be like, oh, yeah, you know, the man controls the household, whatever. But he still, you know, listens to his wife and the wife, you have a lot to say. I just feel like she got too much say. Not too much say because, you know, I'm for women's rights. But I just feel like he going to do anything she tell him to do. And he is such a walkover, a pushover. Like, even in the beginning episodes, they were having a big dinner, Alexa and Brandon with both of their families. And Alexa's father even say like, yeah, I'm surprised y'all still together or something like that because she's literally too much for you. Like she need a stronger man, but I don't know because she is like high key sassy. She gives like off mean girl. Like I don't mean like Alexa. And in these last three episodes, I could really see her lip fillers and it was really bothering me. Like why was her top lip over her bottom lip? And I was so invested. Well, first of all, I didn't even notice her lip fillers throughout the season. But at the end, I noticed them. And I was so invested that I even went to her Instagram to see if they were lip fillers or if they were her actual lips. Like, I was scrolling. <laughs> I was scrolling on her Instagram. And I went all the way back. And her lips did not look like that. I feel like she had just may have gotten some extra shots or whatever in her lips. And it was just too much. I don't know. Maybe it didn't, like, heal completely already if she just got it. But it was just too much. And it was I have to show y'all what I saw. Because, so, the first picture is from 2016. And then the second picture is from when she first started the show. And sis, smile do not look the same because she got them god dang fillers in. Too much. Brendan, he was, like, really upset at Cole because, you know... Alexa is friends with Zainab and he was just like he just really felt like he hated Cole like first of all you ain't even see half the stuff that you supposedly mad about like you just mad at him because of what Alexa said like it's giving mean girl it's giving telephone like why are you so obsessed like Cole cheated on you like he was mad because he said that Brendan was mad because um Alexa told him that Zainab told her that uh cole got some girl's phone number at the bachelor party we saw the bachelor party they were literally doing at a rodeo i didn't see no girls like and if she really yo zaynab said yeah that he zaynab said that cole told her before the wedding that he got some girl's phone number at a bar i don't think that ever happened because when she had her her uh a speech at the wedding you know she destroyed cole at the altar in front of all the friends and family 
That wasn't in the speech. If he really did that, that would have been in the speech, 100%. But yeah, a lot of the stuff, Brendan didn't see firsthand. So I don't know why he has so much smoke for Cole. He's talking about some, oh, I don't like women being disrespected, all that kind of stuff. I understand that. I can understand if you're disrespected, if you don't, you know, you stand up for women and you don't like women being disrespected. But at the same time, you didn't see half the stuff that Alexa claimed that Zainab said that Zainab claimed that Cole did. And if you're gonna have this, if you're gonna have smoke for people disrespecting women, why didn't you have none of this smoke for uh Bartise? You didn't have none of this smoke for Bartise. Bartise straight up was trying to get at uh Raven once he saw her when they were on their honeymoon. Wherever they was during the uh little vacation scene or whatever. When he finally saw R Raven, he's talking about some, she's a smoke show. She's hot. You know, this kind of thing. He was raving about Raven. And you ain't had no smoke for him. You ain't have no smoke for him, but you had smoke for poor Cole. Now, I'm not saying that Cole is poor Cole. He wasn't the wrong in any situation. I'm just saying, you really doing too much. <laughs> but yeah, they're still together. And I'm sure they're going to stay together. Because like I said, Brenda is going to do whatever Alexis tells him to do. Moving on, we already been talking about Cole and Zaynab. Yeah, people were saying that Cole disrespected Raven. I mean, Cole disrespected Zaynab, Zaynab, however you say her name, all throughout the season. And I just was not seeing it. I don't know if my eyes are blind. Like, I can't see. I'm blind. 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 <laughs> but I just feel like their personalities was too different. Like, Zaynab, she was like super serious most of the time. She was like very like firm. Like if it was a picture of what an adult is, it's her. I mean, she is a delusional adult, give or take, but she's an adult. And Cole is very more so playful. Like he's like a little puppy. Like he's just like a frat boy, college boy kind of thing. Like that's the kind of vibe he goes off to me. So any little thing that he say, I feel like it should be taken with a grain of salt, but because Zaynab is so insecure, Everything that she says, everything that he says, just the wheels of her brain be going and she transforms it into something that was like completely taken out of context. So Cole was even saying in the confessionals, like he never thought Zay was ugly. He never thought Zay was fat. None of that. Especially with that cutie scene. First of all, I think that after the altar thing was filmed before they saw the cutie scenes or something like that, something with the oranges, she claimed that he was telling her that she was being fat or whatever because she was going to eat two oranges. And he like, what? I never said that. Like he was literally at the reunion ball and crying because he's just like, where is this coming from? So we saw the scene. They wrote the clip because the production was like, no, Zaynab, you're not going to play us. Like we wasn't doing our record. I recorded like he was doing our recording because she basically was trying to make Cole out to be this person that does all these horrible things off camera. And I just think she delusional. Um, and then they had a chance to talk at Alexa's party. First of all, before Alexa's party, she talking about some, oh, I want to look hot for Cole, this, that, and the third, yada, yada, yada. If you're over him, why do you, like, why are you saying this? If you over him, you don't want to be with him, why do you want to look hot for him? Like, why? I don't understand. Why do you care what Cole thinks about you if he single-handedly destroys your self-esteem and things like that? She said that, but then she also said, oh, you know, I still think you're a good man. I still think you're this. I still think you're that. But I just can't be with you. If somebody single-handedly destroys your self-esteem, you are not a good man. I don't think you're a good man. Like, I don't want to be your friend. I don't want to talk to you. Which they did say that they haven't spoken since the reunion. But she was just very flip-floppy. I don't know. So I really feel like she was delusional. And yeah, that couple just wasn't giving. Um, let me just go back. Did y'all see Alexa's dress? That was Alexa's birthday dress. Like, I know she's, like, extra and all that kind of stuff. But, child, that dress was ugly. It was ugly. It was basically, like, you know, I'm going to put a picture right here. <laughs> picture right here. It was ugly. It was literally, like, lingerie. And she had on panties and some pasties. It was very tacky. First of all, I don't like the trend of girls wearing lingerie as part of outfits, like, outside the club and all that kind of stuff. Like, I just feel like lingerie should stay in the bedroom or in your house at the very least. Like, I don't like it being worn outside in outfits and birthday outfits and things like that. People will really be wearing a bralette with a blazer and call it an outfit. And I don't like that. That's tacky to me. But anyways, um, moving on from that... <laughs> Let's talk about Nancy and Bartiz. First of all, why Nancy have more on here? 
Y'all remember during the reunion, they said after a day after the weddings, after Bartiz said no, that Bartiz was posted up in a club with a tall blonde. Now all of a sudden, Nancy's blonde. Nah, I don't know. I don't know about that. But um, also at the wedding, she was like, I'm done with him. I don't want to date him. I don't want to talk to him no more. I'm over this. I was like, yes, Nancy, because he's trifling and we're not a fan of Bartiz. And he still got that stupid haircut. Like his face, when I saw his face, his face just bothers me. Like his face bothers me, especially that stupid haircut. I hate it. But it was all a lie because they've been meeting up and talking throughout the past year. Um, she said they haven't been like hooking up or doing anything sexually, but I feel like she wants to, but it just hasn't gotten there yet. You know what I'm saying? And she hasn't told her family that she was like spending time with him or whatever. Um, but his family didn't know. And when she finally did tell her family, her mother and her brother, they was like, what? You're doing what? Your friend is who? Why are you friends with him? What are you friends with him for? His, her mother was basically just like, what benefit does this friendship give you? And Nancy was just like, oh. she was about to bust out in tears because she knows that this friendship doesn't do anything for her. She's talking about some, oh, I just want to keep Bartiz in my life because he's so positive. He's just this good guy. Was he positive and this good guy when he embarrassed you in front of y'all y'all friends and family? Was he a good guy then? After you said that y'all had a conversation that y'all were not blindsided at each other and he did exactly that. Is that what your friends do? And if this is how your friends treat you, then honey, you need to find some new friends. Like, And then Bartiz is just like, he was talking to the guys. He like, oh, yeah, me and Nancy been hanging out, yada, yada, yada. And Brennan was like, well, do she know that y'all don't have a chance of getting back together? Bartice was like, uh, I don't think she wants to get back together, but, you know. And Brennan was just like, no, but did you, like, actually tell her? He's like, no, I haven't had that conversation with her. Like, why are you trying to leave stuff in the air, like, stuff for speculation? Like, why do why y'all need to be friends? I don't see why y'all need to be friends for it. Like, I don't see the reason of this friendship, so... At the party, she was just basically like, you know what? I don't want to be your friend no more. I don't want no more contact with you. And she does this thing where she's nervous that she laughs. And it's like a weird, cringy laugh. I mean, it's kind of a cute laugh, but it's kind of a weird, cringy laugh. And she does that a lot. Um, Yeah, so I don't know about that. Anyways, on to the finale, cu finale couple, SK and Raven. So, let's talk about this in terms of me not knowing what happened with the TikTok situation. Let's just take that out of the equation, okay? So at the reunion, we found out that they said no. And they was also talking about how SK didn't know he was going to say no until they got to the altar. So I was devastated for Raven. I was really rooting for them as a couple. Um, but he said no. But they did reveal at the reunion that they were dating. And I was so happy for them because I was like, yay! you know she could find love all that kind of stuff and um in these last three episodes they were still dating and uh, they had an apartment together so i guess sk was able to get his coins together and go half on the rent or whatever because raven really said she wanted somebody to take care of her she didn't really want to pay bills you know he's still in california at barkley first of all why would sk even go on love is blind texas i think they were in texas yeah why would he even go on Love is Blind in Texas if he knew in two years, for two years, he was going to be living in California? Like, we're filming this show here so that people don't have to make drastic changes to their lives to be with somebody. But anyways, yeah, so he actually decided to propose to her again in the show. And it was so sweet. Like, when they came up the elevator, everything was just, like, laid out. Had the Will You Marry Me sign. It had a heart of flowers. Oh, it was so cute. Oh, my gosh. But back to reality. Oh, she said yes, by the way. But back to reality. As I was watching them, I'm just like, SK, you are trash. Everything about y'all interactions is trash because you knew you was dating all these girls and you had the audacity to propose to her again. Why would you propose to her again if you knew you were dating three four girls two three four girls like he told her in the pods that he came from a family of uh polygamy or whatever but i don't think that i don't think that because he be i don't think that because he came from a family of polygamy that dating multiple women at the same time was okay i think that he was just doing that because he ain't he ain't that's it like his father was married to multiple women 
his father wasn't just out here slinging, you know. I mean, I don't know if he was, but <laughs> he was actually married to those women. So I just feel like SK is just irresponsible with people's emotions and things like that. Even he told the one girl that, you know, he was just doing this show for clout, things like that. But yet you're getting an apartment with Raven and paying her bills. Like, I don't understand. So first of all, in throughout the season, he was talking about acting like he was broke when he clearly is not broke if he bought this uh big old engagement ring paying for the apartments and traveling from california to texas every now and again to see raven but yeah she said yes and um after they showed that of course they showed raven crying about how you know they broke up and she found out everything but i just feel like they should have added more of what happened into the episode because these last three episodes really did not do anything oh i forgot to talk about matt and colleen first of all this couple is toxic this couple is so toxic toxic for each other toxic for toxic for reality tv just toxic across the board so they're still together and after a year of dating well after a year of being married because they are married they still are not living together talking about some oh it's gonna cost like five grand to break our leases does it make sense for us financially to be together okay so you see that financially it doesn't make sense for you to for y'all to be together but you don't see emotionally <laughs> it don't make sense for y'all to be together like you don't see that you don't see that and colleen she's sitting up there looking like a god dang hostage every time the camera get put on her so we need to check on our girl, okay? Even like therapists or in, and psychology people who have even watched her body language and all of that and they say how she always looks tense. They talking about some, oh, you know, six months of our marriage was really rough. Like we were arguing and, you know, we had some fights in here and this and that. What? You've been married for six months and you've already had problems? Like, first of all, y'all don't live together. So what problems are you having? Like they mentioned some good advice in there. They was like, don't let roommate problems turn into relationship problems. Like dishes in the sink, not cleaning up after yourself, not doing the laundry. Okay, cool. That's understandable to have this kind of problem when you live with somebody else because y'all, you know, putting together your lifestyles. But y'all don't live together. So y'all probably don't even see each other every day. And y'all having multiple issues after six months of marriage. So why would you even want to get married? And one of them even said, I'm not sure if it was Matt or Colleen. One of them even said, oh, because if I would have said no at the altar, we wouldn't even be together. So, you know, we're really fighting for this. What? what so you're saying if you had doubts about him you wouldn't still be dating him but yet you're having doubts about him or you're having doubts about her that's why y'all having fights six months into your relationship that's why y'all not still living together and she talking about some oh you know i don't want to really want to move in with him because he has a dog and sometimes i like to sleep naked and the dog the dog likes to hump like the dog just likes to hump you're not moving in with this man because he got a dog that likes to hunt. You knew this man had a dog before you said yes. Are you kidding me? They sit up there looking at houses. Y'all can't even maintain a relationship when y'all don't live together. Why do y'all think if y'all buy a house, everything is going to be coochie crunch? Like, I don't understand. Like, are y'all dumb? First of all, they're just the most uninteresting couple to me besides from Alexa and Brandon because Brandon just get on my nerves. But I just don't understand why they're still together. It'll be interesting to see if they're still together a year from now, like an additional year. Um, Colleen, if you're watching this, you're probably not. But do not get pregnant by this man because he still seems like he has lots of anger issues. He still seems like he's just very explosive. Like, I don't like him. I'm sorry. I really don't like him. But, oh, let me just retry for a second back to SK and Raven. I know my last episode, I was saying how Raven and SK was playing in our faces and that all this was planned. But after seeing all that, I kind of feel like Raven is the victim. It was not planned. It's just SK. SK is, you know, trifling. He is all those F-boy stuff. He is trash, okay? After they played that clip with her talking about how they're not together no more, like, she was so heartbroken. <laughs> She was crying. It was so sad. Like, I don't think this was part of the plan. So, yeah. 
that's my little thoughts on love is blind after the altar let me know what y'all thought let me know if y'all seen something that i didn't see if you really saw abuse from cole to zaynab tell me about it because i just did not see it so maybe i'm just not looking as deeply into it but yeah let me know what you guys think don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i'm going to be doing a video about love is blind brazil too because that season really made me mad like that season really pissed me off but i didn't want to include it in this video but it will be in a separate video later this week thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel i ain't tell y'all in the beginning to subscribe because y'all ain't know me like that but now that y'all know me like that know me like that and subscribe to my channel thank you guys so much and i'll see you on the next one bye